Ready. Raise your right hand. And repeat after me. I, Bronson Rueda. I, Bronson Rueda. Having been duly elected. Having been duly elected. To the office. To the office. Of Clackamas County Assessor. Of Clackamas County Assessor. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support. That I will support. The Constitution. The Constitution. Of the United States of America. Of the United States of America. And the Constitution. And the Constitution. Of the State of Oregon. Of the State of Oregon. And I will faithfully. And I will faithfully. And honorably. And honorably. Perform, perform the duties. Perform the duties. Of the Clackamas County Assessor. Of the Clackamas County Assessor. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Congratulations. Does this raise up at all? <laughs> <laughs> no, they set it up for me, so sorry. <laughs> Would you side if, if you can? Uh, going off script here a little bit. Uh, great speech, Brian. I'll have to remind myself in four years if I'm in this position again and you are there, I have to go before you <laughs> instead of after you. All right. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Bronson Rueda, the Clackamas County Assessor. When folks first get to know me, they typically ask me three questions. I will go ahead and answer those questions now for you. Answer number one. I'm six five and three quarters. <laughs> My wife often tells me to round up to six six, uh, but I like to be precise when it comes to numbers. <laughs> it helps to be precise with numbers in my profession. Answer number two, yes, I do play basketball. <laughs> I'm in a 45 and over weekly pickup game. My kids refer to it as old man basketball night. <laughs> Answer number three, the weather up here is the same as it is for you. Okay, let's get down to business. I have over 20 years of experience in the assessment and taxation field, which includes holding the position of Clackamas County Deputy Assessor since March 2019. I was appointed Clackamas County Assessor as of July 1st, 2022. Now, as an elected official, I feel very fortunate and honored to have the voters of Clackamas County elect me as their assessor. The amount of support that I have experienced has been humbling and I could not have done this alone. I want to thank a few people for helping me on this journey. First and foremost, I want to thank the former Clackamas County Assessor, Tammy Little. Her professionalism, advice, and friendship were and still are invaluable to me. She has truly been an inspiration. Thank you, Tammy. Next, I would like to thank my leadership team, Lynn Longfellow, Melissa Coy, Megan Nava, Todd Cooper, and John Bonet. I feel my leadership style gives them the opportunity to take ownership in their work, make decisions that impact processes and procedures, and I rely on them day in and day out. I can tell you now, they do not disappoint. As a department director, they make my job easier, and I hope they understand that. Thank you, leadership team. Next, a huge thank you to all the assessment and taxation staff. When I was appointed the assessor in July of last year, I met individually with each person in my department to have a 15-minute discussion to give them a history of my work experience and to let them know what my expectations are of them and to acknowledge I have a high degree of appreciation for them. There is no way I could have been successful as the deputy assessor and now as the assessor without their enthusiasm to work hard every day. In short, the staff are the backbone of my department. Thank you, assessment and taxation staff. Lastly, I want to thank my family for their patience and willingness to put up with me. I can't speak for other assessors, but I know it can't be easy sometimes living with this assessor. Thank you, family. Now I wanna take a couple of minutes to talk about 
the priorities I have for my four-year term. My overarching objective is to administer the property tax laws of Oregon in a fair and equitable manner. Nearly all the work my department does is mandated, mandated by statute, rule, or the Oregon Constitution. This includes mapping and appraisal of all property in Clackamas County, the preparation of property assessment and taxation rules, and the collection of property taxes. Another priority for me is to put an emphasis on providing excellent customer service. The three assessors before me all focused on customer service and I plan to continue down this path. I think our customers ex expect this and I know our staff expect themselves and their peers to continue to deliver excellent customer service. Finally, I am a proponent of technology and I will strive to be on the forefront of creating efficiencies that will promote fiscal responsibility for our county. For example, last year we consolidated our tax statement printing and mailing process down to one vendor. Doing so mitigated the risk of mistakes and saves money. Because of this change, all property owners in Clackamas County now have the option to reduce their paper footprint by receiving property tax statements electronically instead of in the mail. Even you, Chair Smith. <laughs> so in case you didn't pick up on it, this is my shameless plug for our new e-statement product that is now available. To sign up, locate your e-notices authorization code on your property tax statement. Then go to www.enoticesonline.com and follow the steps to sign up for paperless billing. This will save time, money, postage, and paper. In closing, it is known that our property tax system is very complex. My pledge to the public is to help you manage this complexity. The department I am now fortunate to lead stands ready to answer your questions and help you navigate the property tax laws of Oregon. Thank you. Thank you.